For this stop on the tour, you should be standing right in front of the Vietnam Memorial, facing the Bedford County Courthouse. The structure behind me was built in 1828. The guy that built it, Solomon Filler, a very a renowned architect in the area. He was well respected. He designed a number of buildings in our area um, throughout the town and also a very famous one which you might be familiar with, the Bedford Springs Hotel. When John Anderson built the Bedford Springs Hotel in the early 1800s, he hired Solomon Filler as his architect. And that structure has stood for many years, uh, centuries. Uh, it was recently refurbished in uh, July of 2007. It was opened again. But the main structure, the outside facade, is still Solomon Filler's work. Back to the courthouse. Behind me, 1828 and 29 is when that building was created by Mr. Solomon Filler. Now, a few things about the courthouse. You'll notice that the exterior has uh, columns and something called a pediment. Now, here's a picture of the columns, of course. And the pediment up top is that triangular portion that you see. These parts of the courthouse could best be described as Greek Revival. Greek architecture, hearkening back to perhaps the Parthenon. And also you'll notice though, very un-Greek, See the semicircular or arched window inside the pediment? And also notice over the front door, another semicircular window. Well, that harkens back to the days of Rome. The Romans perfected the Roman arch. Those two elements are certainly Roman. So the front of the courthouse, elements of Greek, and elements of Roman architecture, best called neoclassical. Neo meaning new, classical referring to those two classic uh, countries, classic governments and their classic architecture. Greece and Rome appear on the front of our courthouse. Why? Well, Greece and Rome were considered foundational in our country's formation. Uh, it was the governments of Greece and their philosophy and also the government of Rome and they were major influences on the formation of our constitution and our form of government. Solomon Filler's design here in 1828 and 29 is actually our new courthouse. Bedford County, as I told you earlier, was formed in 1771. We didn't actually have a courthouse until 1774. Before that, they met in local taverns, but, uh, which made for some interesting trials, perhaps. But in 1774, our first courthouse was built, and I'll show you the location of that later on the tour. This is our new courthouse. As I said, 1828 and 29, it was built. Um, it is still our functioning courthouse. Now, a little piece about it, whenever the courthouse was built, uh, the original cost was to be $7,000. Costs perhaps started running a bit high, so the uh, committee overseeing the construction of the courthouse cut a number of things to keep the costs down. Now, we know there are things inside that were cut from Solomon Filler's original design, but two interesting features that were cut from the outside, believe it or not, when this courthouse was completed, this Greek Revival and Federalist courthouse, it didn't include the, first, the, the two columns in front. Solomon Filler, uh, we don't know exactly what he was thinking whenever these two columns were cut, but certainly uh, it was along the lines of, look what they've done to my song. Solomon Filler, after he was paid, took his own money, bought the two columns, and installed them himself. And he dedicated them to the county with the understanding that as you face them, the left column stands for God and the right column stands for justice. And they still stand in Bedford County today. Haven't torn them down. That reflected Solomon Filler's and many people's attitude on our government. Our laws come from, they believed, God and there was a promise of justice. God and justice stand in front of our courthouse. Now the architecture of the courthouse, if you turn and look exactly the other way, turn around and look diagonally across the street, notice the Presbyterian church. Solomon Filler designed that church in 1829. It was built the year after the courthouse was completed. Do you notice similarities between the two designs? Well, that's no accident that our church and our courthouse have very similar features.
our next stop on the tour, we're going to cross over um, Penn Street, and then we're going to cross Juliana Street. We're going to be standing in front of the Man and the Monument for our next stop. It looks like this. So please be careful crossing the street and meet me for the next stop on our tour in front of the Man and the Monument.